Starting a company is like a flip of a coin, and you never know whether you end with heads or tails. Business empires rise and fall, seemingly by chance. But what if I told you that my EY team can help you expand your empire without so much as a gamble? My name is Lim Siu Fern, and today I'll be covering our strategy, our example, and why you should choose us. So our strategy covers three main steps. The first being setting up an RO, which is a representative office. This is to market and gather our customers. And next, if it's viable, then we can invest in a subsidiary. Lastly, if it's more cost efficient, then we should consider a software development center shift up. So what is an RO? An RO helps Pegasus HQ contract so that the client uh, contract Pegasus HQ itself. So in essence, RO doesn't contract directly with the clients. So that means it is purely a cost center with no taxable income and no tax implications. So this is made possible because of Pegasus's mobility in legal arrangements. So the clients and Pegasus HQ are not disrupted by the distance since it all operates on a digital space. Next, if proven viable, we should go for a foreign subsidiary setup. This is to ensure we have autonomy in project execution, so we can provide on-site services, we can go for urgent project meetings, and we can personalize the softwares we develop. Next, we are in a position to possibly gain from Forex, although there could also be a loss. However, it's important to note that the loss is not necessarily a bad thing since it implies that the ringgit is stronger and therefore costs are lower. And that's when we can consider our step 3, our SDC shift up. So, the tax implications of setting up a subsidiary would be corporate tax, of course, and withholding tax. This is because a subsidiary may require assistance from Pegasus HQ, be it in terms of management or other technical services. So, this implies that there would be a transfer price. So a transfer pricing issue would have to be taken care of in the case of preparing TP documentation so we comply with regulations. And that's where EY can help. So software development center shift up. This is made possible because of Pegasus's mobility in assets since its softwares are intellectual properties. So, we also look for lower personnel costs and lower foreign currency before we consider this step. A good example of where all three steps are applied would be India. So this is because they have uh, growth in digital marketing business, they have good IT specialists with quality and at low personnel costs. So they also have lower foreign currency with 17 rupees against 1 ringgit Malaysia roughly. Okay, so why should you trust us to help you? We are a leader in global digital business transformation, and this is proven in Forrester's report showing EY being the top. And we also provide a very wholesome digital tech strategy involving digital tax effectiveness, administration, tax technology, and tax big data. So, Pegasus operates on the digital space. It provides digital solutions to its clients, and that means that digital tax will apply for Pegasus even now and to the future. This is because the digital economy is growing. And to prove that, there are many countries already applying digital tax, such as India and as well as France, and G20 will be coming up with a model for it to be applied globally as well. And EY can help Pegasus be more prepared and help comply with these tax regulations. So, next, EY also has a vast global network with involving more than 10 countries at least, and you can see all of our centers. We can provide local expertise whenever and wherever you need it. So in summary, we have our simple three-step strategy which could be applied at any country of choice and we have penetration examples with, such as India or Singapore where we start at step two or France if you're unsure of viability. Why us? Because we are digital leaders and so is Pegasus a pioneer in terms of digital technology. And that's why you should trust us because we can help Pegasus expand your empire. Thank you.